Hello PBGO users, I'm Pierrick and today I'm going to show you what's about to change in PBGO for the upcoming version 13. Uh, with this video, the idea is to get as many user feedbacks as possible. So please, leave us your messages on the discussion forum. First item is uh, the new design for visit history. Let me show you how it looks like in PBGO 12. You have a filter with many fields uh, by default and uh, you need to submit on each change. Even by default, the, the form is not submitted. So you have to submit. There is no result. I have to remove this one and submit once again. Okay. You see the results as a table. Now, in PBGO 13, you have a much more modern design with simpler filters and automatic validation. For example, if I remove the start date, it's uh, submitted and automatically. And you can also use the results to add some filters. For example, I want to add this user as a filter. And uh, let's re remove this one. I can add this user and this specific photo. You see, you have some additional filters. Very simple by default, and you can have some additional filters. The second item is the page to install plugins. This page is uh, where PBGO connects to pbgo.org to get the list of plugins compatible with uh, your specific version. In PBGO 12, you only have one filter, and you can use it to get only the plugin that you're interested in. It's, it's a simple search field. Now in PBGO 13, I go on the same page, other plugins available. Okay, uh, you can see uh, by default you have no results and uh, that's because there is no plugin compatible with PBGO 13 yet. That's not a problem now because we have added some, uh, some new features. The show beta test plugins button or switch I can click on it and it's going to display all plugins compatible with the previous version of PBGO, which is PBGO 12. Um, in addition to the search field, the same as PBGO, uh, PBGO 12, you have some advanced filters now. And for example, you can search for a specific author or Let's say you want uh, some plugins from me and you want only the plugins I have updated in the last six months. Okay, I have many in the last three months. Okay, I only have updated one plugin. The third item is the list of linked albums for a specific photo. I'm going to edit one photo on my PBGO 12. Okay, I am on the edit page of one photo and there is this field, linked albums. You see, um, this is a simple list box. When I click on it, I have a list. You have an automatic completion. So for example, I, I type uh, second and I only have my second album which shows up. Now in PBGO 13, I'm going to edit a specific photo. Okay, same page, but now the linked albums widget is completely different. Um, you are invited to add some albums, which opens a pop-in where you can see a search input field. You can type something and from there, from the result, you can click, click on any album and it, it's added to the linked albums list. You can remove it and you can also click on the name of the album to edit, to open its edition page directly from the edit photo page. Uh, the ID, we've start, started with a problem, the, a problem of performance. Um, 
with many albums and many means at least 10,000 albums, the previous design was very slow. And now with the new design, uh, it's much faster, more efficient. Next item is about renaming a tag. Let's see how it looks like in PBGO 12 in the tag manager. When you click on the edit button, the title of the plugin is replaced by an input field. It worked fine, it's okay, but only if the name is short. If you have long names, it may become, become quite a pain to edit. Trust me. So in PBGO 13, we've changed the way we edit and instead of um, the replacement of the name, we have we open a pop-in. And in the pop-in, we have much more um, room to, to display a larger field. Item number five is the new API browser. This is a feature for developers. Uh, the API itself is not new at all. The API is, is the, the way uh, to, to let any software discuss with your PBGO. Okay, here is how it looks like in PBGO 12. And for example, what you can do with the API is uh, get the list of users, um, search for a specific uh, photo, uh, upload a photo, or get the list of all your albums. Uh, in PBGO 12, um, you have uh, this design. You can uh, you can open any. You, you have a flat list of all the methods, and you have many of them. And let's see how it how it looks like in PBGO 13. Yes. Okay, that's it. Uh, on PBGO 13, much more modern. We have added a dark mode. You can switch very easily. And the list of methods is displayed as a tree instead of a flat list. And you can also search for a specific method. For example, I want all the get lists and it's going to open uh, the tree on all the get list methods. And if I want to get the list of albums, uh, categories.getList, I can uh, search and uh, see the list of parameters and invoke uh, the method. Item 6 is the new album manager. So first I have to switch to a specific code branch. I have to do it this way. Okay, it's done. I'm going to open my albums page. Okay, but first I'm going to show you how it looks like on PBGO 12. So on PBGO 12, you can only see the sub-albums within a specific album. You have to go to the sub-albums page with this button to add a new sub-album. If I want to add an album, a sub-album to my second album, I have to go in a new, another page to add a sub-album. Okay? And if I want to, to rename the album, I have to edit the album. I can't do it from this page. I can't also uh, move the album. I have to use the move album page which is a separate page with less options in pbgo 13 we have merged several features into a single page the albums are all displayed as a tree on a single page you can add sub albums you see without needing to reload the page it's directly added on the page you can rename the album directly on the page. You can, um, you can also move your albums on the page without using another page. So displayed as a tree, renaming, 
adding some subalbums all on the same page. And we hope uh, you'll find this new design more efficient. You will tell us. The last item of our list is still only a mock-up. It's a new design to edit uh, an album. Let me show you how it looks like in PBGO 13, uh, 12, PBGO 12 first. Okay, I'm going to edit, no, not this one, I wanted, uh, I wanted another one. Okay, when I edit this album, I can see a first line with the album thumbnail, a list of statistics as colored badges, and some action links. Then I have the form itself with uh, the name, the description, and the parent album, and I have to save the settings. On PBGO 13, what we plan to do Uh, this one. Okay, it's a mock-up for now. It's um, it's not implemented yet. We want to get some feedbacks before. Um, actions are all in the top right corner. Statistics and form is in the middle, centered, and the save button is in the bottom right corner. We think it's better looking, obviously, but it's not the only point. Um, it is designed to, to fit better on big or small screens. Actually, we've, we've seen that um, uh, the current design in PBGO 12 is not adequate to large screens. So you will tell us if you like it or not. And that's it for now. Uh, we hope you, you like what we prepared and now we are waiting for your feedbacks. Bye.